Hey guys and welcome back to this new video. In this video we are going to set up the Black Panther's nodes or just make him look like how he looks like in game because I've seen a few people that were struggling with that and we're just going to do it. Let's go. I hope this will be a short video unlike my other videos. So let's unhide this. Okay, we've gotten to the point where I'm going to actually shade it. So, uh, before, before one thing, before we start, uh, I am using my own shader for this. If you don't like that, you can just replace it. You probably know how to do that. Okay, not that now that we are ready, we can look at how to set up these texts. So at first we're going to do something really quick and easy. We have to extract these green values because those are the glowing parts, just there's the pur always purple lit up parts thingies. Except for the gloves, they are just uh, whatever these are, his underarms. So let's extract this first. Hello. Okay. Okay. Now the trick is to get this more Fortnite-ish looking. Uh, is to not use a mix shader for this. So, like this, and then you put this into that, and this into that with an emit, with an emission shader like this, and then make this purple. This is not how you do it. Uh, in this case, uh, what you want to do is delete these, make a color ramp, uh, use this green value, yoink that into the emission value of this Fortnite shader, which basically directly goes into the emission value of a principal BD BSDF. And that makes it so that you don't ruin uh, or just devalue all the values, such as the roughness, for example. So if I turn this up now, whoop, like this, purple, Ish. So if I uh, so we're gonna add more uh, detail to that emission. Just wait. So if I turn this up now, you can see that we still have those uh, roughness values on there, which uh, basic, which is the same that's happening here, as you can see. So and uh, we can add a clear throat to it now. And this is basically this is basically used for cars most of the time. It's it, it adds reflectivity based on like a coat and so if you have a if you have a normal texture or a bump texture it doesn't affect this doesn't get affected by it so it's just getting um oh no that not that it's getting more reflective based on just the mesh okay now let's make a new material for these arms so that we can adjust them there we go copy this get out of that make it a new texture and now we can edit this by just plugging this out of there and where is my emission put that to zero and okay yeah i was confused as to why this was so glossy because i didn't think it would be as glossy as like this before so uh basically i think um i think what fortnite did here was uh, with with that texture, this texture right here is point out that this has to be glossy and emissive. So uh, we are not gonna do that. Let's call this hmm, underarm. Okay, so now that's working. Okay, let's save this. Uh, black panther, panther. There we go. Oh, I need that panther. Doesn't matter. Okay, and let's add some hexagons to this thingy. Uh, I took this little hexagon pr procedural texture right here and just kind of copied it, plugged it in here. There we go. Add a mapping node with um, with some um, coordinate texture coordinate thingy to it, and scale that bitch up like that. Add a value. 
node and yoink about this big i would think right okay so so you can adjust this all later by the way you don't have to look at this all the time um so you can yeah you can just adjust it okay uh let's see uh does that thingy have more for a doesn't look like it oh wait oh wait you forgot to add these shoe thingies to the underarm okay well now it's called under mm, limbs perfect Okay, let's save that and and we will make another material for the collar and oh I think this golden thingy okay. There we go. And we're going to add to add those to another material because we do not want to affect these because as you can see uh, the purple effect thingy does not seem to affect these golden parts although i'm not sure okay wait let me see from the give i made i can't really tell yeah it does kind of look like it i mean it's it's certainly on this but i'm not sure if the if this uh i think those golden parts are just reflecting it so let's uh Let's not include those golden parts in our beautiful little simulation here. Okay, this one does get included. No, 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 no. I don't. I do not want that. It just seems awkward. Okay, make that new material. Oh, by the way, how I do this? I make a new material by pressing pressing this plus button, and then I press when you have this, this things you selected. You want. <laughs> When you have the things you want to assign to a new, a new material selected, you just press assign right here, uh, and then it select and then it turns the original mesh into that material. So let's remove that. And now that we have that, we can go ahead and leave it at that and call this I don't know gold. Awesome. Okay. Let's see. What do we have right here? Those are some hexagons. And we are going to add those as a purple color. Now let's see what kind of purple color that is. I think it's more like this. Um, okay, that's beautiful. Uh, I assume we can just use a noise texture for the mask go ahead and add a color ramp to that now we don't want to be using a texture coordinate and then uv for this because we will get weird seams and we do not want that so we'll just use the object object for that one let's see how that looks that will do it amazing okay Let's see, scale that up a bit by about that. Uh, and we can go ahead and add a map range so that we can turn this so turn this effect off and on by scrolling through this or just by doing this. Okay, uh, I just noticed these nails are gold as well so we are going to add those to the golden collection material as well uh, there we go assign select these assign so we don't get that weird shit around us okay now uh, it's going to be a bit difficult to perfectly match match the match the match match the noise texture to this one but i have a I think i have a pretty good idea of how to go about this so um let's scale that up uh, add some deep not a little detail uh roughness does look good and some distortion as well or not well, I'm not sure I'm just going to leave it at this 
and I think about this looks good. We're going to change this into a four dimensional texture so that we can mess with this. Okay, let's see. I think we have a kind of a rippling effect. So let's try to create that as well. Uh, it's sort of a combination of basically this and a rippling effect, which I think we can create with a wave texture. So let's see. Uh, we want to plug the generated one into that for this, I think. Let's add a mapping node. Uh, we'll close this for now. Okay, wait. So also, we're going to have to plug the object one node, this thingy. And turn this Z axis to about 90 to get this rippling effect. Doesn't that look amazing? Now, awesome. We're going to add a mix RGB and add that into this. Grab this map range. And I think it's best to do color burn now. Let's see what we get. Okay, uh, I think that looks pretty doable. Let's make this a little darker, a little bit more scale, just like that. Awesome, okay. Now that we have that, I think we can go ahead and... Okay, now that doesn't look very good. So we are just going to leave that as it is. Maybe mess around with these sliders and leave it at that and go ahead and add some of this. Maybe experiment with this and that. Add this as a color dodge. No, I think it's best to use color burn. Um, so now that we have this, we can experiment with it. Uh, this seems like it should do fine. Let's turn these around and see how that looks like. Uh, I think this would work better, to be honest. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this would work better. And then plug another color ramp into this, like that. And then we can really make it add some contrast to that. Okay, now that we have this, we can use it as a mask for our thingy right here. Mix RGB this, grab that. Oh, grab nothing. <laughs> uh, use this as a, as a factor for that. Do extremely, absolutely nothing with that. Do this. And let's see how that looks like. Okay. Uh, I think we need to scale this thing down, the hexa sheet, a bit, just like that, and see how that looks again. Yeah, okay, looks pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can make this more of a fade. Okay, awesome, and let's throw another layer weight in there for some bonus effect. Uh, and then a math node, add this to that. Maybe add a color ramp into that so, the, so that we don't have extreme destruction. Plug that into the factor. Now slide that a bit up, bring that a bit down. Now, as you can see, we get a little bit of extra effect there. Which is always nice to have. If it can just go ahead and 
pull that a bit down there. Get that a bit up there. Yeah, okay, okay. That's looking nice. And that should do the trick. Maybe switch these and look how that looks. Nope, that does not look good. Okay, from now on it's just basically messing around to get the perfect value. And you can do anything you want. I think it's best to kind of connect these a bit. Get those really slight edges. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're going to add this as a mix, I think. Mix RGB. Set this to add. Plug that and that together and put it into that and then turn this on and slide this all the way up. Now we can go ahead and add a vector math, multiply, and put this value to about 5 or 4 to make this effect better. Okay. Now that we have this, it doesn't look very convincing yet. So let's change. Oh, let's change this to a more deeper purple. And we are going to have to add another mix RGB, or we can just copy that. And use this, oh my god, just this, and then go ahead and subtract. Wait. Yeah, this should work. Mm -hmm. I am very confused as to why this is not working right now. Well, no, uh, we can do, we can fix it with a simple click of this, a click of that, and we will have turn this around. We will have our result, I think. There we go. Plug it in there. But that, oh my God, what the hell? That's just weird. Um, let's let's fix that by. So this is why I wanted to uh, use an add for this. And I'm not sure why it doesn't work. Let's just slide that up so that we can make it look but somewhat better. Uh, pull this all the way to that point. Amazing. Okay, now that we have this, we can actually increase that a little bit. And maybe even use another one of these to subtract some of that value as well. Because it doesn't look very apparent here. Or just first, let's decrease that a bit. 
that I attacked. And... <laughs> Okay, let's decrease this one a little bit. Just so we can get that perfect color-ish. And see how that looks. Okay, so we don't get an exactly perfect thing right here. But it does look good. It does look pretty good to me. Um, we could adjust this one a bit. To give it more distortion. And maybe some roughness. Now let's see how that works. Uh, beautiful. So now we get basically get more points where it just ripples. Um, we might want to scale this down though. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I just noticed this is way too much. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull that roughness down. Uh, make it somewhat bigger. Uh, more detail is not really necessary here. Uh, let's see if I can do this. And do that, oh. Well, that doesn't even look better. Now, y'all. Yeah. Okay, wait. What we've just done uh, doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> We're going to add a value. And let's see. Put that into... Uh, a math node just like that and put it at point zero 0.01 which we are going to plug into the W value of that and I think just in the normal face offset of that so let's see how that looks okay 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 uh, lessen that distortion a bit. And make this a bit less, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This could work. This could work.
Okay, now that we're here, we can finally look at what we've made. Uh, let's see, go ahead down here. Uh, I animated this effect so that it, well, glows beautifully. Uh, I, I used this properties panel to add some control over here. If you want to control it even more, you can go ahead right over here and do it in here. For example, the noise scaling, the distortion of the noise. Wow. Or the wave, how fast the wave goes. For example, this is pretty fast. That, that's just the effect that it goes off and on. And I'll leave it at point 0.1 for now. Uh, I think I added the hexagons. Let me go back here. So the hexagons, you can do that in here. The size of the hexagons. I'm not sure why. Oh, I just didn't do that yet. Well, I'll be back in a minute. There you go. The size can now be controlled as well by this little thingy here. And yeah. That's it basically. Now you have this beautiful rippling-ish effect which you can, yeah, well that's it basically. Oh by the way you can disable the whole turning off effect by just putting this wave value to zero. Put it to point one, it goes away. If you put it to zero it just stays. Alright, see you next time. I have no idea what to say at the end of this video. At, at videos, what the heck is wrong with me?